All right, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Super here and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Uh, so, there's been a lot of talk since yesterday because uh, Street Fighter announced yesterday that they have sold 4 million units since launch, globally. Which, by the way, huge congrats to Street Fighter 6. Golf claps all around, everyone. It's an amazing package of a fighting game. It completely deserves being, right now, tied for the number one spot in a best-selling fighting game. And we're going to talk about that in today's video. Um, but let's go to the actual announcement. I want to show you guys the actual announcement. Because Capcom did such an amazing job. They deserve all the sales that they've racked up. We're excited to announce that Street Fighter 6 has sold over 4 million units globally. Thank you for playing and for helping us reach this milestone. We hope you're excited for the future of Street Fighter 6 as we intend to release more content and hold more events. Again, huge shout out to the developing team, development team of Street Fighter 6. They listened a lot to their audience, and they not only included everything, every feature that was in Street Fighter VI, but they improved on it and added more, con or Street Fighter V, excuse me. Not only did they bring back all the features that were in Street Fighter V, but they improved on the game, and they brought even more features in Street Fighter VI. Not only that, but they made the game more accessible with modern controls. They just, like, man... The they killed it, man. They really, really killed it. They did an amazing job with Street Fighter 6 and making that game as successful as it has become and very well deserved. And now let's move on to Mortal Kombat 1 because that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about like the sales, Mortal Kombat 1 versus Street Fighter 6. And normally I don't even talk about this because I just I'm just a gameplay guy. I love fucking around making people laugh with my commentary when i'm either getting my ass kicked or kicking ass online uh but this is definitely pretty significant here because um mortal kombat has always dominated the sales as far as the fighting game community other than smash brothers were which we're just gonna leave that out because smash brothers you know literally dominates every fighting game by <laughs> it's not even close because it just appeals to everybody um, and it's just that damn popular. So we're more talking about the Trinity here, Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. But Mortal Kombat traditionally has always sold more than Street Fighter. Well, not traditionally. Like, it's it's literally fact that Mortal Kombat has always sold more than Street Fighter. Um, but it's not. it hasn't been the case this year. Uh, so Mortal Kombat announced not too long ago that they reached 4 million sales. And Street Fighter now has reached 4 million sales. So they're literally on par. Like they're they're pretty much even in global sales. And obviously people are going to say that, you know, there's a lot of countries that actually ban Mortal Kombat. You cannot buy it. Um, but the truth of the matter is that has never mattered. You know, it matters when it comes to the actual FGC and it matters when it comes to the amount of players, the player pool that Mortal Kombat could potentially get because there's a lot of people who might be fans, but they just cannot purchase the game, so they just ignore it and don't train in it. But as far as sales, that has never mattered. Mortal Kombat has always absolutely head and shoulders dominated both Street Fighter and Tekken in sales. Um, but it's definitely different this year, and it definitely has a lot to do with how... Mortal Kombat 1 launched. Uh, it, first impressions are everything. And the fact that Mortal Kombat 1 launched and it was a disaster, it really soured a lot of the core fan base, the casual fan base. A lot of people were upset, including myself and, you know, anyone else who does content for the game because, um, you know, people just didn't want to pay $12 or $15. How much was it? $15 for a stage fatality or um, a, a holiday fatality or something like that. The skins were insane. They were even more expensive than they are now. You guys know everything that, um, that happened. Uh, obviously, I think one of the biggest complaints that I had is that the game felt incomplete. And this is what I want to talk about because the irony in this is so crazy. It's so crazy. When Street Fighter V came out, this is the... Man, the irony in this is crazy. <laughs> when Street Fighter V came out, everybody was saying that this game was incomplete. 
this game sucked. It had no features. It just had online. It had, um, it did have a story mode, but the story mode sucked. And it had almost no features, almost no skins at the time. Why did Capcom release this incomplete bullcrap of a game? That's when Street Fighter V came out. And, you know, at the time, Mortal Kombat X had, at the time, the graphics were really good. And they had a full story mode. They had the crypt. You know, they had everything. They had so many features in Mortal Kombat X. And Street Fighter V was the main game for Street Fighter for a long time. Then MK11 came out, and that game had everything. It had everything MKX had, but way better looking. It's still one of the best looking fighting games of all time, I think. Mortal Kombat 11 is still absolutely gorgeous. So everyone would just compare like, oh, look, you know, look at how much content and how rich in content Mortal Kombat 11 is compared to Street Fighter 5, which was, you know, obviously the main Street Fighter game. Oh, that's why it's killing you guys in sales. And, you know, <laughs> is it? So Mortal Kombat 11, during the course of its life cycle, sold 15 million units. That's absolutely insane. The biggest Mortal Kombat game of all time. Mortal Kombat X was it for a long time. Uh, but Mortal Kombat X, you know, sort of had a two-year life cycle. I definitely think that if Mortal Kombat X would have had would have been the main game for four years, it would have sold more than Mortal Kombat 11 for sure. Because I think... Everyone agrees, well, maybe that's just me being biased, but a lot of people agree that Mortal Kombat X is the best Mortal Kombat game ever next to Mortal Kombat 9. But I digress from that. I always like throwing that in there. But Mortal Kombat 11, or Mortal Kombat X sold about 14 million copies, and Mortal Kombat 11 is at 15. So MK11 passed it by a little bit. Mortal Kombat 1 so far, actually Mortal Kombat 1 in the first three months, it actually, in the first four months, it hit 3 million copies sold, which was incredible. Like, it was really good. It's It was on pace to be just as successful sale-wise as Mortal Kombat 11, but within, I think, January until now, it only sold like a million units. For a Mortal Kombat game, that is absolutely insane absolutely insane for a Mortal Kombat game that has always dominated the casual audience. Uh, but going back to the irony, right? I fucking, my mind sometimes goes at a bunch of different directions. But the irony is that when Mortal Kombat 1 came out, it was an absolute shit show because the game felt incomplete. It had a lot of missing features. It had... A lot of uh, problems online connection it had a lot of glitches there was not too many skins not too many brutalities it just had it, it, it obviously it had the story mode which some people say it sucked i enjoyed it for what it was you know it's a reboot the gameplay in my opinion is is what saved the game for sure because personally for me i love the uh, gameplay but you know just to round it out in my opinion, it was an incomplete game. It had a lot of missing features. And not only that, but the Warner Brothers like trying to push microtransaction down everyone's throat really, really hurt the uh, positivity on this game. And it became sort of a meme. It became, uh, you know, cool to hate on Mortal Kombat 1. And deservingly so. You know, I will say deservingly so because Mortal Kombat 1 did a lot wrong when it first came out. And the irony in everything is that Street Fighter VI had an amazing, flawless launch. It had so much content. It added to the content that previous had. And it was probably the richest fighting game or the richest um, Street Fighter game ever as far as content. And the irony about that is that the, the franchise has literally flipped roles because... Mortal Kombat 1 had a Street Fighter 5 type of release where everyone hated on the game. It was incomplete and people were just pissed about it, right? That's how people were for Mortal Kombat or for Street Fighter 5's release. And when when Capcom released Street Fighter 6, everyone was praising how much content this game had, how beautiful it looked, how um you know the the different things that you could do. And, or I guess how much they improved on their previous game. And that's exactly what happened with Mortal Kombat 11. 
excluding gameplay because i think um you know for me at least i always had a problem with mk1's gameplay i i mean mk11's gameplay i had a lot of mechanics that i hated but everyone was just praising the fact that the story mode was awesome the uh the visuals were amazing they had all the features in Mortal Kombat X, but they made it better looking. They had the crypt, which you could go around and discover. They had so many skins, so many brutalities that you could unlock, so much customization. And that's exactly the praise that, Mortal, that Street Fighter Six got. So the irony in the whole thing is that the roles are reversed now. Now Mortal Kombat 1 is getting the same treatment as Street Fighter Five got at the start. And Street Fighter VI is getting the same treatment that Mortal Kombat 11 got at the start, which was pretty much all praise. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy how time changes, um, how things change. But, you know, Street Fighter V ended up actually becoming a lot of fun. You know, I never went back to play it, but I know a lot of the competitive players or just people I follow on Twitter in general praise the developers for changing up the way Street Fighter V, how Street Fighter V started to where it ended. And that sort of built upon the foundation of Street Fighter VI. They, they built upon what they were doing in Street Fighter V towards the end to make Street Fighter VI the best they could possibly make it. Um, and honestly, I do think that uh, Mortal Kombat 1 is changing in a good way. Chaos Reigns is coming out. And if they could implement, you know, some of the things that were in Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat X, like online lobbies, online training mode, like these basic things, I, I, I honestly don't know why they're not in the game already, to be honest with you guys. But I'm not a developer. I'm not in the office. I don't know how the relationship is between NetherRealm and Warner Brothers. We, I have no idea on all that. Um, I just know that... The reputation of Mortal Kombat 1 could definitely change if they do the right things. Similar to how Street Fighter V started so negative and ended up being, um, you know, a, a game that a lot of people enjoyed. And, you know, it brought back a lot of fans that they lost at the beginning of the game. Mortal Kombat 1 could definitely do the same thing. Um, and, you know, Street Fighter, I firmly believe Street Fighter is going to keep doing their thing. They're going to keep, I mean, they got Terry Bogart coming soon. I think they got Mai. They got two, like, cool guest characters. Uh, Elena, I think, is coming after that. But, you know, Mortal Kombat 1 has six new DLC characters. Probably going to get three more after that. And then we'll see. Maybe they go back to doing a new fighting game every two years, which in my opinion, that would be awesome because as a content creator, it would give me more variety. Uh, and if they could build upon what, you know, mistakes they made on Mortal Kombat 1 and just remedy that with Chaos Reigns and with, you know, just updates moving forward until their next game, that's definitely going to bring back a lot of the audience that they might have lost at the in the first, like, six seven months of the game and you know maybe they could get back to being the king of cells but right now it's looking like things are tied between street fighter and mortal kombat but yeah i just think it's so ironic that mortal kombat has always been in that number one position for a long time and with this game mortal kombat one it just changed completely like it's crazy um, but also, you know, huge credit to Street Fighter 6 because if Street Fighter 6 wasn't as good as it is and word of mouth and everything, positive word of mouth, it definitely would not have sold 4 million copies this fast. Um, so shout out to Street Fighter 6. But yeah, I just want to make this video talk about this topic because I, I really don't talk about sales and I don't talk about these things much because I just like playing. Uh, I do cover like DLC content and data mining here and there and different things other than the gameplay but man I, I just love acting a fool online and uh you know either getting my ass whooped or people or <laughs> i was gonna say either getting my ass whooped or people whooping my ass that's the same thing either me whipping ass or people whooping my ass while i'm like trying to make people laugh so but it, it's also important to cover some of these topics because um yeah it, it's a pretty significant change this cycle with Street Fighter just absolutely killing it. And, you know, at least so far, Mortal Kombat 1 uh, being disappointing as far as uh, sales numbers go. And 
with that combination, now the the juggernaut that was Mortal Kombat One in sales, like fifteen million sales for Mortal Kombat Eleven to seven point six million sales of of Street Fighter Five during their life cycle is such a huge difference is absolutely insane and the fact that street fighter now has equaled mortal kombat one in sales after a year and a few months you know from june to september that's not too too big of a gap you know as far as release date right so it's not like if street fighter's been out for two years and then mortal kombat is barely on year one no they 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 were only a few months apart and the fact that they're about even it's pretty crazy because Mortal Kombat has always had that casual audience that has pushed their sales numbers a lot. Um, but, you know, with the good graces that people have over street, uh, on Street Fighter VI, it seems like um, they have really taken some of that casual audience that Mortal Kombat would normally have and have flipped them over to uh, buy Street Fighter VI instead of uh, Mortal Kombat 1, which is definitely significant. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Something a little different, which is me, you know, just talking about these uh, sales numbers and all that. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated if Mortal Kombat 1 releases the sales numbers and, you know, they're significantly higher than we first initially thought or significantly lower. I'll keep you guys updated on all that. It's interesting to talk about um, because I definitely see the correlation between sales number and popularity of the game and i've talked about this you know oh, during a few videos about how people's interest dropped off for mortal kombat 1 i'm not going to go into that in this video i'm just going to end it here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys next time